Okay. Back in the shop here. Uh, maybe we'd play with this lathe here for a little bit. Just for fun. Uh, get some more light on it. You can see it's kind of a kind of a mess right at the moment. That's all right. I don't mind a little bit of a mess. Um, probably have to edit some of this later. Just spend some time looking for a few different things. Take my trusty little brush. Very important. Good. Brush some of this brass off of here. Let's go brush a little bit of everything off of here real quick. So it doesn't get used a whole lot recently, but got a couple of project ideas here. My Sherline Model 4000 Super Itty Bitty Lathe. Let's see. Going to move this light around here. Got some better stuff going on here, so we can see. And get some cords out of the way. That would be bad to wrap them up in there. All right. So, we got her mostly cleaned off. I think we're just going to use some files here and cut us a nice little brass shape by hand. Kind of a fun little thing a guy can do if he gets bored. Maybe you got some material laying around. Here we got a Nice little piece of brass there. Now, let's see. Should somewhere here. Maybe in my little Mexican cigar box here. We got a couple of chuck adapters. Made these myself. Pretty sweet. Let's see. We're gonna need. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We are going to need screw-on adapter. For this little guy here. Do 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 do. Next time I do a video, we'll get a little bit more prepared. Let's go ahead and use this piece of brass. Kind of a leftover laying around piece. Kind of neat. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Closing the check. Now what I'm going to do is get out some files, a couple of little guys here. I'll go ahead and move this all the way back. I know I've left my my little chuck tightening tools in the chuck, which is not a good idea generally, in case you accidentally flip it on and and things flying and death and destruction happens. So, all right, go ahead 
I'm going to put this like on a slow speed to start with. I'm going to take this file here. You can see it's got a nice sharp edge on it. I'll go ahead and make a mark here. Do some carving. Now technically, you do want to stand on this side of the lathe to do this. We're just going to go ahead and make a couple of marks. Do, 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 do. See if you see that better now? Yeah, probably. Crank that speed up here. Now, if you're going to do something like this, got to be very careful not to stick your fingers in some bad places don't hit your file in the check and if it catches don't let this sharp point go through your hand that sucks really bad You were slowly carving this out. Get a nice round shape going. Probably edit this later so it kind of more of a high speed action instead of spending 45 minutes watching nothing happen. Maybe we speed it up a bit. carving a little bit here and turn the speed up. Just gonna make a little bubble here. Once you got a good cut started, you got kind of a place for your file to ride there. Turn this guy way up now. Get a cut going. Don't be afraid to go nice and deep. Now the neat part is, shut that down for a second. You can see it fairly smooth. We've got a good start to it. We want a little bit more of a ball there. What I'm going to do go over here to the awesome toolbox to my file drawer. You have a good selection of many, many files. And I am going to select another file. A round one. It's good sharp teeth on it. It'll help with our rounding. And then this file we don't want. Change my mind. Nice good round file. Okay. Crank that back on. And oh look at that. Look at that. See we're really getting nice and deep now. more of an angle, you can kind of play with the way you're doing it. See, doing this, I've made some tattoo machine parts for some friends. And I've made some oh, motorcycle parts, some caps for some bolts kind of make a little nut do some neat stuff there we're kind of getting kind of a reverse hourglass shape going here
kind of get the idea. I'm going to take this file here and brush it off a bit. Pretty dirty. And go ahead and start rounding off this edge. You can see there's a little bit of deflection there, but that's okay. We're not making a super accurate machined surface for anything. More of just a decorative piece here. Start slowly round in here. Some other things I could think of a guy could use this for make a little hand formed handles, maybe. Yeah. Anybody watching this, you get any ideas from this or try it yourself? You had to. Let me know what you think would be made or what you made yourself or maybe what you'd like me to make. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what we got going there. Now we can take some sandpaper, emery cloth, slightly used. Crank that up real fast. Get a nice polish to it. Once you get to know the machine you're using and kind of dangerous way of doing things but a little more exciting than Taking the safe route, as long as you're careful and pay attention to what you're doing. All right, let's take a look at that. Turn the turn the speed right down, and we'll. Oh wow! Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Mm. One thing I never can seem to remember is where I put my chuck hold downs and the funny thing is watching the video later I'll be like oh that's exactly where I stuck them <laughs> I can uncheck this okay those put away you can let's see what we got probably could use some more polishing not really going to use it for anything <laughs> I don't think. Maybe at some point we will, but you know, you cut it off, cut off with a file, and you get out your parting tool and slice it off if you wanted to. Um, something I've done is in the past is made a, a block to, you know, screw your part onto. That way, if you got a shorter piece like this, you know, you can screw it on there and you work off of that so you're away from your chuck aways but you're still holding it pretty tight but anyways that's how you can do some nice round little carving you know I used a softer material uh, steel I've done some steel it takes a long time but uh, good fun little project something a guy can play with if you got some material and a spinny machine like this so Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all later.